Hey, yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Ayo Gorman, and today we're gonna be reviewing the Canon RF 50mm lens. Oh, man, I love this lens, man. This lens is super dope, it's super versatile, um, it's small, it fits in your camera bag, it fits in, man, I put it in my wife's bag sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, it's really discreet. You don't got major attention when you bring it onto the field. Like, if you want to go on a vacation and you want to take really high quality, stunning photos, though, but you don't want to carry, like, a big old lens. Like, I have a, uh, a Sigma uh, 17 to 50 millimeter, and it's big, man. But if you just bring out the Nifty 50, RF, especially the RF because it's just super tax sharp, man. You know what I mean? Nobody really notices you. They don't even care. They just think it's like your cell phone. So I never get that awkward feeling. Like, I don't know if people know what I'm talking about, but I don't get that awkward feeling. Of like, oh my God, people's like, why is this guy taking pictures? Why is he doing that? I take this in restaurants. I take pictures of my wife and nobody bats an eye. And that's why it comes in handy. The versatility of it, it's super key. Cause it's still good enough to get paid gigs. Yeah, yeah, paid gigs. Like I got, I get using paid. this lens to do, um, to do portrait shots, do events, to do um, real estate stuff. So this lens is super versatile that you can get paid with it, or you can just keep it as a hobbyist, man. Um, the cons for this lens, though, I'll say is it doesn't have image stabilization. So. Depends on what you're trying to do. Like you might need it, you might not need it. To me, for what I'm trying to do at times with it, I never had an issue without image stabilization. My Sigmas have image stabilization and honestly, I don't really see too much of a difference. I know why I would need it and for what circumstances I would need it, but in most circumstances where, I, where I'm using this particular lens, I don't need it. So it works beautiful with that. Um, it's not weather sealed, so you don't want to bring this out on a crazy day that's raining and the, the the weather just crazy you don't want to do that so it's not just don't do that and um yeah i think that's about it man as far as the yeah back to the pros though yeah more pros more pros back to the pros though it's like 250 in canada so that'll probably be like 180 in the states and maybe 150 pounds in uk so it is affordable to the point it's almost cheap and when you say something is cheap, a lot of people say, oh, I don't want that. But I don't get it twisted, man. It's a crazy bang for his buck. So when I don't call it cheap, I call it affordable. I call it a great deal, man. Know what I mean? And I rented at least maybe eight different lenses for my RP. Like I'm using the, um, um, the lens right now and it's on my RP right now. And I'm pretty sure it's tax sharp, you know what I mean? So it's a super dope lens. And um, yeah, man, I just can't stop talking about it, man. It's super versatile. Uh, I'm gonna be putting up a few shots that I've taken with it within the last six months. And y'all let me know if y'all feeling it. This is my first review. Um, I'm gonna be taking my craft a whole lot more serious. So, you know, this is trial and error though, but I hope I, was, I have helped you on your journey, whether you're looking to buying this or renting it. I will suggest it for anybody that's beginning to get into photography or beginning to get into videography and um, you want to just start up with quality but you don't have the money or you don't want to invest too much into it because you may not know how the outcome is. I say start with this and I'm almost guaranteeing you, you will not be disappointed. In fact, you will be pleasantly surprised. So it's your boy, Yo Gorman. This is my review on the Canon RF 50 millimeter. And I uh, hope you all enjoy it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay blessed. Peace.